The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is injecting more water into the number two reactor. Tokyo Electric Power is trying to cool the facility after the temperature inside unexpectedly rose. The temperature is still about 25 degrees Celsius higher than it used to be. A thermometer at the bottom of the reactor had shown readings of around 45 degrees until January 27th. Then temperatures gradually rose to over 70 degrees. TEPCO began injecting more water into the reactor on Monday. The utility further increased the amount of water by about 30 percent early Tuesday morning to 13 and a half tons per hour. So far, TEPCO says the additional water has lowered the temperature by only a few degrees. The plant operator says plumbing work may have affected water flow inside reactor number two. TEPCO's aim is to keep the reactor in a state of cold shutdown. This requires that the reactor's internal temperature remains below 80 degrees. Researchers say they have detected high levels of radioactive cesium in earthworms around the damaged Fukushima Daiichi plant. The researchers are from the Forestry and Forest Products Research Institute. They checked cesium levels in earthworms at three locations. They checked one sample from Kawauchi village, 30 kilometers from the plant. They detected about 19,000 becquerels of cesium in every kilogram of worms. They took a second sample in Otama village, 70 kilometers from the plant. Those contained 1,000 becquerels per kilogram. They took a third sample in Tadami town, 130 kilometers from the plant. The levels there were about 290 becquerels. The researchers say cesium levels rise in proportion to the radioactive levels in topsoil. The worms feed on decomposed leaves in the soil. I'm concerned that earthworms with high levels of cesium will have an impact on forest animals. He says researchers will need to monitor the radioactive impact on these creatures to prevent contamination throughout the food chain. The number of children and young adults has significantly decreased in the three prefectures hit by the March 11th disaster. A survey by the Education Ministry shows, as of May 1st last year, the population in Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures fell by more than 27,000 from 2010. The total is about 834,000. Fukushima saw the biggest decrease at 5.8% or more than 17,000. This is followed by a fall of 2.3% in Iwate and 1.7% in Miyagi. The ministry says the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant is to blame for a decline in the number of kindergartners and elementary school children in the prefecture. It says that smaller children are more vulnerable to radiation and are likely to have been sent to other prefectures.
13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 13 